Hi guys, welcome back. Well, over the last two or three weeks I've been looking at um, regrinding drill bits. And I started off with um, this piece that I made. It's got a Ericsson DA100 collet chuck on a straight shank that's mounted into two bearings, one either end. This is just a piece of uh, scaffolding tube that I had lying around. Uh, I made two made two colours of it so that the uh, bearing would uh, would sit nicely. And then at this end, at this end, I've been drilled twenty four equally spaced holes. Um, and there's a locking, locking screw on this side, um, and I've put four indents at 90 degrees. So by taking that screw out, I can then rotate the uh, collet chuck 90 degrees, 180. So that gives me. Uh, capability of uh, lining the two cutting pieces of the the drill up nicely and I've had that mounted in uh, a Jones and Shipman grinding vise that swivels and tilts and um, for the small drills it's been uh, working well I wouldn't say I've mastered it yet but uh, practice makes perfect so that's the first thing that I uh, came up with um, and then I thought about some moist taper drills now the moist taper drills are too big to fit into the Ericsson chuck um, so the first attempt I had it mounted into um, one of my dividing heads and I did that on the uh, horizontal mill that I've got um, but then I realised I had a ER32 collet block, square block, uh, which would accept the moist taper, moist taper drills. Um, and uh, I have used that, it's just a matter of um, once you've done one facet, spin it round 180 degrees, line, it, line, line this edge up with the jaw in the vise and then do the second cut so yeah I've had some uh, I don't think we can make that those facets out I've had some success with those um, and then I've started watching a few videos on YouTube or drill resharpening and the uh, Really, machine cropped up. Um, and with that machine, you don't have to do the two facet grind um, because the uh, the machine is capable of spinning and turning at the same time. Um, it gives you a factory finish on the cutting edge. So I started looking at those and thinking, hmm, I wonder what, uh, would it be possible to make one? I'm looking at the machine guys, um, you basically got the electric motor with a grinding wheel on and that's mounted onto a XY table for uh, bringing the wheel into play with the uh, drill that you're going to show them. Um, now this is a complicated piece. Uh, the drill is mounted through this centre spindle onto a chuck uh, and then you've got this lever arm here now by cranking that round, that rotates 
the drill but it also swivels the whole mechanism left and right and it's that movement that gives you the clearance on the drill bit. Now the electric motor is no problem. I've got some three phase motors lying around that, uh, that I can use. I may have to make a spindle extension for some of the grinding wheels that I've got. I have got an XY table that came with the vintage wood lathe that I bought and I've also got lying around um, a lathe bed off a Myford Super 7 which the whole thing could be mounted on so this this mechanism here I've no idea how that works how, by, by turning that round how does it spin the spindle round but also swivels the whole mechanism left and right so I think that would have been the sticking point on making one so this afternoon while I was waiting for some things that I'd ordered from Amazon I uh, started uh, looking through uh, eBay which is always a danger and um, guess what yeah looking through eBay this appeared on my screen um, let me, uh, let's, that was a thumbnail Yeah, it's the very part that would be uh, most difficult to reproduce. And there's quite a few photographs of it, so I'll just just whip through those. It's got a Jacob's chuck on it. Uh, six jaw, I believe. Well, I may be wrong there. Mm, yeah. Even got a chuck key with it. There's a marking on there which uh, is for a left hand or a right hand drill. Now what I have noticed from uh, one is that a five or a six jaw? Did they do a five? No, I think it's a I think it's a six jaw chuck in it. Now, now what I have noticed on watching some of the videos um, this section here uh, it looks like it's missing on this item. But there's a. Let me see if I can. Uh, yeah. There's a section missing there that works on a lever. So by turning the crank, it not only rotates the chuck and swivels the base left and right, it also brings the uh, chuck in and out. From the grinding wheel. Now that seems to be missing. Now I don't know if those are available separately or 
whether I may have to make one of those but uh, we shall see but uh, yeah that's a future project guys I think um, I spoke to the seller and uh, he said uh, I should have it by weekend so once that arrives I'll give you a closer look at it but um, yeah looking forward to getting that well, thanks for watching guys I shall see you soon